welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a day in the life of owning three ferrets. So if you want to know what it's like, keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I do after I let them out in the morning is I clean their litter boxes. So this is how much poop you get from them after one day of not cleaning. I clean them daily. I don't have a litter scooper right now, so I just use this teacup thingy and it works pretty well. That's one thing you gotta learn when you have ferrets is that they do poop a lot. And if you don't clean it daily, then they're gonna go in the cage because they do not like smelling their own poop. You wanna try and clean the actual litter boxes out about every two weeks. I haven't cleaned mine yet, so that's why they look kinda dirty. When I'm done, I put the litter boxes back in the cage, obviously. Who's hungry? Now I feed Sadie her duck soup because she's currently underweight and I'm trying to get her to gain some more weight. And who else wants some duck soup can have some too. It doesn't actually have duck in it. <laughs> That's just what it's called, duck soup, I don't know. Basically you take two cups of uh, your ferret food and you blend it in the blender and then uh, you add a cup and a half of water and you add some probiotics, some ferritone, a can of baby food that's chicken and gravy flavored, and yeah, you get this and they love it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on the floor. So now while they're eating, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up all the messes around my room. So yeah. Let me just go ahead and show you where I have all my newspaper right now. I use newspaper because they do not like using litter boxes around the room. And this is the best that they're going to get to actually floor. So I have that piece there. You come over here, I have more 
over there and under my makeup desk. Then you come over to the side of my bed. I usually keep some here, but I haven't put some down yet. But that's one of their favorite areas. Um, we walk back over here. I have a little, um, a little poop station right there, as you can see. Uh, I keep that litter box there, but they never really use it. Um, I keep some right there. See, they missed the spot. Um, then I keep some on my other area. Please ignore the dirty carpet. I haven't vacuumed in a while. Also, if you have any boxes, that is a great idea for ferrets. Just cut out a hole with some scissors and just like put one of those tubes through it. And they absolutely love those. Is that right? There I have a cardboard tube thing and it goes into this little cardboard box and that's usually where they're at whenever they sleep. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up all that. There we go. And now we're done. While I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and check their food bowl and their water bowl. I usually do their food and water about every other day because it like because it lasts that long. Okay, they seem to be Okay, I'm gonna fill their food bowl up a little bit more. Those of you wanting to know the foods that I feed the ferrets, I feed them Supreme, Totally Ferret Active, Totally Ferret Turkey and Venison, and Nature's Variety Instinct. It's good to use more than one kind of food because they get used to it. Look at her! Why is my camera so interesting to you? And that's pretty much it for taking care of them during the day. So I'm going to be back later tonight and I'll show you guys what I do from there. Alright, see you in a minute. Alright guys, so it's currently 7.30 in the evening and I caught Sadie eating her food. So I thought I'd go ahead and give her her second serving of duck soup for the day. Because I don't want her getting too full on that first. It's just the same my baby. Slithering out. Alright Sadie, come on. Some too. All right, Missy, you got some good weight on you. You need to let Sadie have some. I usually give her about two tablespoons of duck soup two times a day. Um, but if she wants more, then I go ahead and give her more. I don't really limit it. Limit it. So they've been out all day, and they've only been out playing for about maybe two, three hours. So that kind of shows you that they don't play too much, they, m they mainly sleep. Sadie has a different schedule than the other two, so whenever she's awake, I'm awake. No, nope. I still see it. Jeez. Hope you like getting poison ivy in your mouth.
Also, if you have if you have ferrets, don't ever expect your carpets to ever be clean again. Isn't that right, Sadie? Yep. They like to play rough as well. <laughs> What are you doing? Did I say you could climb on top of the ferret cage? Excuse you. Excuse you. I know you looking at me. I got you. Alright guys, so I think that's obviously the cue to put them up because they need to go to sleep. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for this week's video. If you liked it, make sure and give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more of me and the ferrets, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!